Okay, so I just want to make a quick video, but a very important video on how to be successful, how to have success in anything in your life, how to get good at anything. And for me, this comes down to four simple steps, not easy, but four simple steps, which are number one, you have to take action for the first time. You actually have to take action. You have to do the thing. You have to start. And I'll explain through all these steps, tips, and how, how to actually do them. But this is just general. If you follow this, you will have success in anything. Number one, take action. You have to get started. You have to actually take the action. Number two, consistently take the action. You have to do the action many, many, many times. The first two steps are the hardest steps. That's layer number one. Take action and then consistently take action. And only once you've done this can you move on to the next steps. You have to go in order. Obviously, you have to take action first before you can consistently ta take action. But now once you've consistently taken action, it is now a habit. You are showing up. You are doing the thing. And it doesn't matter how much of the thing. Just show up and do the thing. You've taken action. You've consistently taken action. You are at level one. Now comes step number three and four which step number three and four could be their own step together. But basically this is analyzing your mistakes, what you've done well. And then step number four is correcting the mistakes and then solidifying the strengths. So taking what you did wrong, fixing it, taking what you did right, building upon it, making it better. And that's it. Number one, take action for whatever it is. Number two, consistently take action build a habit of it, become consistent with it. That's the first layer. Now, once you've done that, step number three is that you have to analyze your mistakes and your strengths, what went right, what went wrong. Step number four, correct the mistakes, solidify the strengths and improve upon, build upon the strengths, right? Now, very simple, not easy to do. And I think the thing I made a different video about perfectionism, what people fail at mostly is the first two steps, the first layer, which I disconnect from the rest. <clears throat> you have to get consistent before you can start improving the skill or whatever it is you are doing. So let me give you some tips, right? First of all, taking action to take action first. It's a big step, right? We're nervous. We fear we're scared to take action. You have to motivate yourself. You have to be able to get yourself to do the thing first and foremost. This is going to be different for everybody, but quick motivation for you. If you need motivation, you are going to die. You're this age now, whatever age you are, maybe 20, maybe 15, maybe 30, maybe 40. The time's going to pass by whether you do something or not. We all know regret hurts the most. In a thousand years, you're going to be dead. Everyone's going to be dead with you, whether you believe in God or an afterlife or not. You only get this one life. So don't waste it, right? But whatever it is you need to motivate yourself, whatever drives you, it's different for everybody, right? Step number one, take the action. You got to motivate yourself to do this. That's how you're going to do it. However you motivate yourself, I can give you some motivation, but it's got to come from you. <clears throat> You've taken action. Step number two, consistently take action. Probably the biggest key step, right? So how do you do this? My, I made a video on this as well, but you got to ease into it. Just show up and do the thing or even just show up to the thing. If it's going to the gym that you want to become good at, right? Just show up to the gym, do one set, do one set of whatever exercise, but show up to the gym every single day or however small you need it. Maybe you got to start once a month going to the gym. Maybe you're, you're, you're not at that level yet. Just show up once a week to the gym, once a month to the gym and then build up and get to that consistency level. So maybe your goal is, I want to go to the gym every day, every day, right? So every day of the week, I want to go to the gym, show up, maybe do one set, maybe don't even do a set, but just get in that habit of consistently going to the gym. And once you've built a consistency of going to the gym and then lifting weights a little bit, right? You get comfortable with that. Then you can then, and only then can you move on to step number three, which is improve three and four, let's say improving upon the skill, upon the thing that you're doing, that you want to get good at, that you want to have success in. Because once you have the consistency, you're showing up, you're doing the action consistently. That's not a problem anymore. Now you can focus on the thing itself. And like I said, to get consistent, take it slow, the smallest step forward that you need to, whatever it is, 
if, if, if it's just showing up to the gym and doing one light set of bench press or whatever it is, do that. Do that every single day. Whatever you can do, do it as long as you can do it consistently until you've gotten to the level that you want to get to and then go to step, step three and step four, which is analyzing where you go right, where you go wrong, and then step four is fixing it. My advice for step three, analyzing where you go right or wrong. First of all, take from your own experiences. When you're doing something, when you're doing the action and you're doing it consistently already, you have a bunch of data that from your own experience that you can see what worked well, what didn't work well. Let's say you're trying to get good with talking to girls or just being social in, in general, right? You have a bunch of experience because you've been doing the action and doing it consistently, step one and two. So step three, analyze. When I say this to the person, uh, it doesn't really, the vibe's off and that doesn't work. Mistake, right? Or when I'm really relaxed and I'm, I'm, I'm calm, I'm flowing, I'm present, I look the person in their eyes, I, I'm myself maybe, you know, that puts the person at ease. I, I get a lot of positive results with that. Bang, that's a strength of yours. That worked. And then step number four is like we said, that mistake. Oh, when I um, when I said that certain thing to the girl, she felt uncomfortable and then things didn't really go well. Maybe I shouldn't say that thing to her. Correct that mistake. Instead, I should maybe say something else. Maybe I should say something like this and then try that out next time and then it'll put her at ease and then, oh, okay, that's a strength. And then the strengths that you had build upon those, right? When you look them in their eyes, when you were calm, relaxed, and you were being yourself and not saying things that you thought they wanted you to hear, but just doing what you wanted to do, that seemed to work. They seemed to be at ease with that. Boom, do more of that, build upon that. So, First of all, take action, then consistently take action. Then after that level, you pass level one. Now you start looking at what you do well, what you don't do well with that action. You have a bunch of data because you've been consistently doing it from your own life. And then boom, step four, correct what you've been doing wrong, build upon what you've been doing right. And step four doesn't really need any extra info, but step three, to fast track this, Watch other people who are really good at what you want to do already. Watch professionals if it's like sports, like soccer, or read if it's like entrepreneurship, right? Watch interviews, podcasts with your the most successful entrepreneurs who you think you can learn from or read their books or ask people that you know that are already successful. Or if it's like um, to be good with girls, for example, I'm sure you have a friend or you know somebody who's really good with girls. Observe them. See what they're doing right and what they're doing that you're not doing. So that means that what you're doing wrong. And then use that learning from step three, either from your own experience or from other people's, and then correct it in step number four. And I know this sounds like whatever, very general, but everything that you can get good at, everything that you can have success in, it's very specific, but the principles of getting good at something are very, very general and very simple. And you know this because you've gotten good at something. I say this all the time, whether it's video games or soccer, sports in general, music or school, whatever it is, you've gotten good at something. And you know that all it is, is taking action, of course, doing it consistently over time, getting more reps in, fix, seeing what you did wrong, what you did right, and then fixing those mistakes in step number four. And that's literally it. That's literally it. Now, like I said, along the way, to get yourself to take action, you gotta motivate yourself. You're different than me, I'm different than the next man next to me. We, we're motivated by different things. Motivate yourself to take action. Consistently take action. Ease into it. Just make sure you show up. Make it a habit of showing up. Once you're comfortable with showing up and doing the thing, doesn't matter how terrible you do the thing. If you show up and you do it, that's a win for you. Then you've passed the hardest level. Now you're in a step three. See what you're doing well, see what you're not doing well, and then step four, correct it. Correct what you were doing wrong, build upon what you were doing right, and, and it's simple as that, and you will get good at anything that you do. And there's gonna be challenges along the way, of course. People are gonna say you can't do this or you can't do that. People are gonna hate on you. That's for a separate issue, right? That's, that's, that's all noise, don't worry about that. You're gonna make mistakes. That's what step number, number three is for. Analyze your mistakes. Step number four, you fix them.
right? You're going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. That's okay. It's either that or you sit around waiting to die in your comfort zone and then you're 80 years old or 50 years old. Even 50 years old you could be and you feel like you wasted your life and you're living in regret, right? That's your other option. Either you take action and you do things or you just live in regret. It's up to you, but you're never going to get this life back. So I hope that's enough motivation for you to get to step one. Uh, yeah, I, I said quick. I don't want to make this too long. So yeah, those four steps and you will be successful in anything. Just implement it into anything you want to do. First, you got to take action. Then you got to do the thing consistently. More reps, more reps, more reps. Then step three and four, analyze what's working, what's not. Step four, solidify the things that are going well, build upon them, the mistakes, get them out of there, correct them. And of course, I think I explained many ways that you can you can learn from other people and you've got your own experience. But bottom line is start doing stuff, start doing stuff and you will have success as long as you do it over an extended period of time, consistently analyze your mistakes, correct the mistakes, build upon the strengths, you will have success in anything and everything. And I believe in anybody who's watching this video, every single one of you who's watching this video, I believe in you. I know that me, you, and anybody who's got the belief in themselves and has the hunger and has the will to make the life that they want to make. And if you're watching a video that's titled something like this about success, then most likely you have that hunger and, and most likely you just need a little push to take that action and a little direction to consistently take that action. And then from there, the sky's the limit for you. So think about this and be better than you were yesterday.